our uh, scientists are heading out um, towards the towards the Big Bend area where the bloom patch has been um, identified to document the the conditions that are surrounding the current bloom. To understand um, what the bloom is doing, both in terms of the, the surface as well as the subsurface and the near bottom populations and the water column conditions can help us to better understand the development of a bloom as well as provide us information to better predict where the blooms might be going. We use two, two main pieces of, of equipment. One is a CTD, it's, that stands for conductivity, temperature, and depth. It also has a fluorometer to measure chlorophyll fluorescence, which is uh, an indication of the algae that are present, or the amount of algae that are present, and uh, an oxygen sensor that let, uh, tells us how much oxygen is in the water column. Um, this, this gives us kind of a physical profile of what the water column looks like, and that helps us to, to put the, the, the bloom into context. The latest satellite image came in yesterday. It was a nice clear day, so we got a very good image. They're going about 100 miles from Sarasota to the center of the bloom. That's about 50 miles offshore of Hernando County.